Today in our 2017 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, we will be having a look at and installing the Roadmaster 12 volt outlet kit, part number RM-9332. Here's what our 12 volt outlet kit looks like installed. Now this constant 12 volt outlet being hooked directly to the battery will give us the power we need in order to run our portable braking systems and other 12 volt accessories without the need for the key to the B and the ignition unlike the factory power outlet. As you can see here, the cell phone charger I'm using is coming on even without the key and the ignition and this is what we are looking for if we are going to be flat towing our Jeep behind our motorhome while using a portable braking system. Now the great thing about this 12 volt outlet kit is it does already have an inline fuse installed in the positive side of it. So if you have the overload situation or a short happen, you don't have to worry about a potential electrical fire occurring. The fuse will blow and keep your vehicle safe and protect all of your devices that are plugged into it at the same time. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. Okay, so we're gonna be working underneath the dash on our driver's side, right on the far left side of the vehicle. Okay, this is our bracket that'll mount our 12 volt outlet to. I wanna mount it right here in this silver brace for our dash with the provided self-tapping screws. I'm gonna put it at a downward angle like this so we can easily plug into it underneath the dash. Our self-tapping screws are a 3 8 head. Okay, with that at the angle that we want it and one screw started, we'll do the other screw and the other hole. And we'll make sure the other one's fully tightened as well. Okay, with both our screws fully tight, we now have a nice solid mount for our outlet. Okay, now we'll take our wires and feed them through the hole in our bracket. If we look up above, almost directly above it and to the left a little bit, there's a hole. Now we already have a few wires passing through this hole right here. Now if your vehicle is equipped with a manual transmission, you will not have this hole in the firewall. This hole is where your clutch master cylinder goes through. So we'll just poke these on through. Okay, with those pushed through, we can now pull them all the way out underneath the hood. And we'll pull them out all the way. Okay, here's our wire from our outlet. We ran it along the firewall here, securing it to the factory wiring harness with a few zip ties every several inches or so. And we brought it over to our battery. Okay, the wire with the ring terminal is our negative terminal. This is our negative terminal of our battery right here. You'll notice the ring terminal is too small to fit over the studs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap it out with a different one with a larger opening. It's a quarter inch diameter opening. This is a 14 to 16 gauge ring terminal. We have these available on our website. You'll see how this drops over both of our studs nice and easily. So we'll cut it off. Strip off some insulation. Place on the ring terminal like so, and crimp it down. Our positive wires, the one with this spade, female spade connector right here. You can use this included fuse tap to go to your fuse box, but in our case, we're gonna cut this off and use another one of those ring terminals and go directly to the positive post on our battery. This will make it easy for us to connect directly to our battery. We'll do our positive connection first. We'll just remove one of the 10 millimeter nuts from our battery post. We'll place on the ring terminal over the stud and reinstall the nut. Now we'll do our negative, remove another 10 millimeter nut. Place the ring terminal over the stud, reinstall the nut, and it back down. Okay, I have a cell phone charger here. I'll use this to test the outlet out. So I'll just plug it in. You can see the blue LED indicator on my cell phone charger comes on, which means the outlet is working. And that completes our look at an installation of the Roadmaster 12 volt outlet kit part number RM-9332 on our 2017 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited.
Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.